Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use an if statement with multiple conditions. So we'll need a pretty simple graphical user interface for this um, tutorial. So I'll just quickly make it. Uh, let's make the font 16 here. It's I guess we have an edit 1 and an edit 2 let's remove the text we'll just leave it leave it the names as edit, edit 1 and edit 2 let's add a button let's make a client and just click me make the font size 20 so let's start coding so as we know, a normal if statement would have been, for instance, such as if the edit one dot text was equals to edit one, for instance, which it is right now. Oh, no, I think we removed it. Yes, <laughs> if it is, for instance, equals to hello, then it would just basically display a show message that say something to us also guys and you can also actually um if it's more than one line for instance like this it is two lines of code that runs if it's true then you then you need then you, then you need the begin and end but if you only have um have one line like this then you can actually remove the um the begin and end and to make an else you have to remove the semicolon and then just add an else and like this and this will also still work but yeah it's sometimes just it's, it's it's easier for beginners to learn that you always need the begin and end it also makes stuff easier to read so anyway let's just remove this now because we don't need it so if it's for instance if you compile this now then one needs to be hello then it will work but what if you want to check that um, the, that the edit one should be hello and the second one should be world and if this is true then then, then only it must um work so this is where the the and and the or operators come in so we okay we can say and here two dot text needs to be equals to world like this. Then we can for instance add here hello and click me, but it won't work because edit two isn't world. So we need to have both like that. Then it will work. So this just basically allows us to have two operators. Um, you can also, for instance, say that either 2 needs to be equals to 80, but 80 is a number, so this won't work because text is a type um, string. But we can also convert this, so s to let's say, let's say that it has to be bigger than 80. Or it, let's make this my age okay you are older than 80 and does qualify for the elderly Olympiad basically we can make this little application you enter my age it won't work because we are uh, oops sorry Okay, enter my age. You have to enter something here, so because it's now converting it to an integer, you compile. It won't work because we aren't old enough. So if you make it 80, will it work? No, it won't work because it needs to be larger than 80, as you guys can see there. So if you make it, for instance, 81, then we get a message. We won't get a message, which has to be capital M. Let's just show the 80 again. It won't work make it 81 so it's now larger than 80 and thus we kind of qualify oops 
18.18. Anyway, we qualify now. So let's make an else statement. Else begin show message. You are not old enough. So enter our age. My age. I am 18. Then I get a message. You are not old enough. But as soon as I turn 81, I will be old enough. Or maybe when I turn 8100. That's basically the AND operator. Then we can also have an OR one. This means that um, the AND ad one has to be my age, or the AND two has to be bigger than 80. So if both of them, so, so if one of them is like that, then we, it will continue. So for instance, if we just add 81 here, then it will still work and we will qualify. Or we can make this one, but we have my age here, that it will still work because it, it, only, it, it only wants one of them to be correct. And that's basically how to use um, an if statement with multiple conditions. So thanks for watching guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.